Hi guys, uh, back again. I hope everybody's doing well with uh, all the issues with the virus and everything. Uh, trying to stay busy here at Commodore Forever. I've been using the time pretty wisely. I've got a lot of products, uh, new products going to be coming out. And I wanted to show y'all uh, one today that's ready to go. Um, it's uh, got to do with uh, the RF modulator on your Commodore 64. Uh, a lot of people are getting the new uh, Commodore boards that are being uh, produced, the, the clone, uh, 64 clone. Uh, I don't remember the names of all of them, but they're, you know, really good looking boards. And, you know, we're sticking these old modulators in. I know there's a couple of, uh, you know, uh, people making replacement modulators now for them to go in. And, uh, you know, that's great. I'm always for, uh, you know, using the newer products in these things when we can. So what I did was I wanted to come up with something that was pretty cool, small, but work good. So what I came up with is this little bad boy here. I don't know how good you can see it. It's called the Shuriken. Uh, why? Because it looks like a little, little throwing star. <laughs> um, why did I make it like that? I don't know, because I'm a big nerd and I like doing this kind of stuff. But I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, it's all surface mount components on the back. So it's very tiny compared to uh, the original. And um, you basically just uh, remove your original modulator. I'll set it over here, everything's a mess. Um, remove uh, your original modulator and uh, install some pin headers and it'll mount right on there just like that. Uh, I've got to solder it on. So what I'll do is I'll solder it on and we'll shoot a little uh, test video and, and see how the picture looks. Okay, so we're gonna test it out on a, a 1701 monitor first. Um, this board's not the greatest. I might have to tap on the VIC chip a little bit because it is loose. I need to work on it. See what we got here. Okay, there you go. So um, we got a good normal Commodore 64 picture. Uh, works great. I, you know, it, it'll work great in your uh, your newer boards too. So it's it's, it's really clear. I'm I'm really happy with how it, it's turned out. Um, so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna hook this up um, with S video. See, it's loose. It's got a bad connection on the big chip but that's something to fix later but anyway <laughs> I'm gonna hook this up to a modern TV uh, uh, real quick with one of our adapters and we're gonna look at the S video picture okay so um, I've got it hooked up at my test area for the TV we're gonna hook it up to this big uh, LCD TV up here so uh, what I've done is I've taken one of my adapters and I've got it uh, you can zoom in there I've got the uh, S video hooked up and so we could really see how this is going to look, I hooked it into one of these cheap um, HDMI converters. So I've got S-Video going into this um, converter, so we're going to see HDMI output on the TV. Okay, so let me fire it up here. It'll take it a second to sync up. Okay, that's not my adapter. That's the Vic chip. There we go. And uh, that's it right there. Um, pretty clear picture. Uh, it's messed up. Let me. This Vic chip. I've got a. I just think just resolder it in. There we go. Uh, it's got a little bit of a checkered board pattern around the outside edges, which is uh, not too bad, um, really, for it to be blown up in full screen like this. Um, I've seen much worse. No gel bars really through the the main screen. I don't see anything. It's nice and blue. I don't know how good the video is going to look, but uh, here in person it actually looks pretty good. The biggest issue is the checkerboard pattern. You can come back up down here now. The biggest issue is the checkerboard pattern, but you're going to get that um, converting. Uh, that could be the converter on here. Um, that's converted to HDMI. Um, probably a Lumifix would clean up some more of it. Before a drop-in uh, plain Jane RF modulator, this thing is, is rocking. Um, so, uh, you know, check it out. I'll have it available in the store here uh, now. Um, check it out. Um, it's going to be $18.99. It's the uh, Shuriken.